your overview, Brian. Yeah, sure. Um, certainly another uh, great baseball game in this uh, in this World Series. There's been some terrific games in the first five ball games. I'm, I'm sure the fans are are loving the close games and the the great play out there. Uh, we just fell a little bit short in Omaha. Uh, two one run losses certainly hurts. Um, I, I feel for our guys because they have had a terrific year. Um, that said, we didn't win, and that um, that's our goal is to win here in Omaha and give us a chance to win a national championship, and certainly we felt short, fell short of that. Uh, TCU did a great job. Uh, the starter was a did a really good job. Our approach was not great against him, uh, but he did a nice job of mixing his off-speed pitches and, and held us down. And uh, certainly, they, the TCU has some powerful arms in their, in their bullpen and did a great job. I thought Connolly early uh, gave us a nice start. They had a really good approach against him in the, starting in the first inning, probably as good as we've seen all year. And that's a credit to them. But he grinded and kept us in the game and gave us a chance to win. And and everybody we brought in did a nice job. We just couldn't get that that one more big hit that uh, that we needed to win here in Omaha. And sometimes, uh, all the time, that's what it comes down to, that big clutch hit or that clutch pitch. And we just didn't get enough of that this weekend. That said, it doesn't diminish what this team accomplished. To have 50 wins and be playing here in Omaha again uh, speaks to you know, what they're made of and their talent and the, the type of program that we have. Um, we'll regroup and look to build and be back here as, as soon as we possibly can. So thank you. OK, we'll open it up for questions now for student athlete to the student athletes. And we'll start right here. Uh, Jeff White, VirginiaSports.com. Ethan, the, the offense has been so prolific and productive for most of this season. Was this just a case of running into elite pitching here in Omaha in the two games? Uh, yeah. <clears throat> I don't think, uh, um, you know, the pitching has changed much throughout we've seen this year. Um, we consistently had a, a, good, a good approach. Um, you know, today didn't go our way. Okay, next question. Okay, Jake. Jake McKeever, College Baseball Central. Ethan and Connolly, you're one of only three teams to go the entire season non-conference undefeated. How will you all kind of look back on this season? Connolly, you start, please. Yeah, I thought that's a testament to how good we've played all season. Um, I mean, we, we had a, two tough losses um, here, one run apiece. Um, but that doesn't take away from what we did all season. Um, I thought our all of our bats did great and all of our arms did great. I mean, we'll come back here next year. So, Ethan, yeah, going undefeated in uh, non-conference um, is just another another something special about this team. Uh, everything that you know, being on this team has accomplished throughout the year. Um, you know, it's just. It's one of these teams that I'm going to look back, you know, and just remember every single guy on this team. Okay, we have a question in the back here. Yeah, yeah Preston Will at CBS 19. Ethan, you've worked closely with Jake and Kyle these past couple of years. Just what does it say about the kind of their careers and kind of where they are as, as things look like they've come to an end? Yeah, I've, I've loved every single second of, uh, you know, being around them. Uh, I lived with, or I roomed with Jake last year uh, in hotels. I roomed with Kyle this year in hotels. Um, those are two guys that are probably leaving that um, I'm really close with, and I've learned a ton. And the impact that they've had on me, and you know, Virginia baseball, um, still kind of setting in that um, I won't see him next year. But um, I love those guys. Okay, next question. Guys, if there are no more questions for the student athletes, you, you can be excused. Thank you. Thank you. Congratulations. Now open it up for questions for the coach, and we'll start here with Jeff. Brian, does it two one run losses on this stage, does that 
make it tougher when you can go back through each game and pick out a play here or a play there and know that could have swung the whole thing? Well, I, I just uh, – candidly, I, I hate losing either way, whether it's by one or, or five. Um, but, yeah, you know, the, the, the one-run games always comes down to a lot of times a big pitch. Uh, like I said, a, a clutch hit there maybe in the ninth to tie the game and other opportunities. Listen, this game was defined, in my opinion, by we had too many one, two, three innings offensively that we just weren't competitive enough in, in our approach in those at-bats. And, and uh, I thought we did a terrific job uh, managing the innings from a pitching and defensive standpoint. I, th I think TCU probably left 12, 14 runners on base. And that's a testament to our guys that they buckled down and didn't let the big inning happen and, and gave us a chance. But, um, you know, it comes down to those little fine details here in Omaha. Every, everybody's got talent. Everybody earned the right to be here. And it just comes down to guys rising up in, in key moments. Um, that doesn't take away from who our players are. Sometimes you just don't do it because your opponent's very, very talented as well. Okay, go right here. In Blue Review, uh, you go double single your, within your first five pitches of the game. Yeah. As those outs started to stack up inning by inning, did, what did you see in terms of maybe a reason, I guess, that you weren't getting – Maybe the breaks. Yeah, that's a good good question. I think it had to do with um, you know our approach against their starter. You know, he was throwing a lot of off speed pitches, and and we weren't our approach of hitting the ball the other way. That's what you have to do against somebody like that because he's he's executing, and and we you know too many times rolled over ground balls and just didn't get quality swings on the ball to put uh, innings together to put pressure on them. You know, uh, you saw we stole a couple of bases there against right. You know our style is to put the pressure on the other team but you got to be able to get base runners on in order to do that and there was just too many innings that um, you know we just weren't competitive and gave ourselves a chance um, you know that that happens and that's a credit to them uh, for executing and us not ad, uh, not adjusting to it get back here in the back Brian I know Ethan said it's still setting in but just how do you sum up the careers for Jay Geloff and Kyle Teal yeah, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm disappointed that for them that they didn't get a chance to uh, play deeper in this and for the, the two of them to really show their, their ability, you know. And, and so here in Omaha, that said, the, the careers that those two guys had are, you know, right up there with some of the best that we've ha had in my tenure here. Um, you know, Jake Geloff has broken so many offensive records, home run records, RBI records. Um, we wouldn't be sitting here today with, without him. And Kyle Teal was just a really, really special, talented player. I, you know, the results didn't show uh, in these two games the impact that those two young men have had in our, on our in our program in their entire careers, but especially this year. And certainly they will be missed, but they, you know, the way they performed in our uniform teaches the younger players what the standard is for success in our program. And for that, I'll be forever grateful to them for their contributions wearing our uniform. Mike Farron, did you have a hand up? Okay. Let's go back over here, here in the back. Coach, Matt Talry from World Baseball Network. Um, you have a few guys that are going to play for the USA Collegiate National Team, mm -hmm. a few guys that are going to play top summer collegiate programs, a few guys that are graduating alongside, possibly getting drafted and signing to a major league organization in the next few weeks. What mm -hmm. is just the biggest uh, prep uh, for the program for this upcoming fall ball season? Well, certainly we will have to – you know, figure out what the what the draft brings to us. That's that's something that has a major impact on every college program in a good way, right? Every college coach wants their guys to get an opportunity at the next level of baseball. That's part of what they work for when they come and play at this level of baseball. And so, you know, I'll be rooting for our guys that have that ability and for every one of them to have that opportunity. And so, you know, we'll get back to Charlottesville and we'll assess 
you know, what the roster will look like for next year. Uh, part of that is those players going to Team USA, those players going to the Cape and across this country and getting at bats and working to be improved players. I look at our our team this year, that the, the sophomores on our team, that we have five in the lineup, and those players all went out last summer for the most part and uh, really developed and got better. Well, our, our freshmen this year need to go out and do that, and that's how you continue to sustain a high-level program. And then, you know, we'll see what additions that we need to make this summer, you know, based on what the draft brings us. Um, we have a very talented recruiting class coming in, uh, and then we'll, you know, we'll look at what our needs are in the portal and supplement from that standpoint, and and then get ready to go and do it again next fall with the the goal of being right back here in Omaha. Okay, what well, time for one last question here from Jeff? For Jay to come in like he did at the end and and yeah. take care of business is that something? You think he can build on going into next year? Yeah, I think so. You know, Jay Wolfolk's got a lot of talent, and, you know, he's this is the first year that, you know, he was required to go to football practice all spring. And, um, you know, I'm sure that took a toll on him a little bit. That That's, you know, there's not many young men in America that are doing what he was doing. That was this spring competing for the starting football job and being a pitcher. There's guys that do it that compete at quarterback, but they're not a pitcher. They're an offensive player and things like that. So, um, you know, I, uh, today was, was great for Jay. Obviously, you know, I put him in a challenging situation in the Florida game, but I put him in because I had confidence in him that maybe he could get a strikeout or a ground ball. And that's what the situation dictated. But, um, you know, I'm, I'm excited for him, his opportunity with USA this summer. And, you know, I, I think that next year can be a terrific year for him in our in our uniform. 